Here's something that caught my eye in our Hong Kong coverage yesterday. Protesters waving American flags. And as you heard at the top of the show, those protesters, some of them, those there, they were singing America's national anthem. Joining us now is Marion Smith with the Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation. The waving of flags, the singing of our anthem. What does that tell you? Well, I think the Hong Kong protesters are drawing a distinction uh, that is really at the core of this crisis. And that is there are two systems uh, here that are contradictory. Uh, one is the totalitarian system of the People's Republic of China. Uh, where more than a billion people are under the thumb of the Chinese Communist Party and where there is no freedom and uh, where if you were to wave an American flag and sing our national anthem, uh, you would be detained uh, or worse. It was On the other hand is the United States and our flag and the freedoms that it represents and Hong Kong people have enjoyed those freedoms for generations and have never been ruled by the Communist Party and they're saying they don't want to be ruled by the Communist Party now and, and that's the essence of the crisis here. What they want, what the demonstrators want, is the resignation of Carrie Lam, Hong Kong's chief executive, and her replacement to be freely elected with candidates not chosen by Beijing. That's what they want. That's why they're, sit, they're uh, flying the American flag. You think that, I mean, what are the odds that they actually get that? Well, they have a list of five or six demands. One is the resignation of the chief executive, Carrie Lam. Uh, the other is the withdrawal of the extradition uh, bill, which really was um, the catalyst for this uh, uh, protest movement this year, in, in which some 20 percent of the population of Hong Kong has taken to the streets. Uh, that is no insignificant fringe group that is protesting. That really does represent um, a significant portion, if not the majority, of the Hong Kong people. Uh, support for the protesters is, is you know, even higher than 20 percent, of course. Um, but uh, they're also calling for the, uh, the release of the political prisoners, as they're calling them now, uh, who have been arrested as part of uh, this protest movement, which uh, overwhelmingly has been peaceful uh, on the protesters' uh, part. Uh, but we have seen uh, beatings uh, by the police. Uh, we have seen the blinding of at least one person due to short-range uh, shooting of um, rubber okay. bullets and bean bags. Uh, Marion, I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'm really short on time. Let's see what develops today after the Hong Kong authorities try to buy the demonstrators off. Marion Smith, thanks for joining us.